Hello there folks, today we are taking a look at the game called Pocket Mars. It's published by Bort and Dice and the designers are two Polish names, um, Mikhail Jagodzinski and Jaroslav Weiss. That's you. This game starts from the moment that Mars is terraformed. And you're one of the architects who is sent to the Mars in order to like set up a structure for colonies to arrive. Mars 1, Mars 1, we're landing. Pocket Mars is played over the course of several turns until one player will get all of his people to Mars and then you will score points and whoever has the most points will be the winner of the game. Now everything evolves around these cards in my hand, in the prep module, in the draw pile of course as well. So you will use these cards in various ways. So each card has two sections. It has a hand section. If you play it from your hand you get this ability and if you play it from the prep module you get this ability. You can always uh, put the cards to the prep module. I mean like if there is less than two cards in the prep module you have to put something in the prep module to replace it but you can never get cards back from the prep module into your hands so whatever you prepare you have to be exact about that and know your strategy. Now let's go what we can do on our turn. First of all uh, we ha each have our own ship where we will put the people in and then from the ship we can put the people onto Mars depending on different situations. We also have the, this energy bar. We can spend this energy on various more powerful actions for especially these uh, lower actions, the prep module actions usually uh, want a lot of energy. Now, how the game is played. On your turn you will do one of the following actions. You can choose one of these five actions. First of all, play a project from your hand. Whenever you play a project from your hand, you just do the upper ability and you're done. Discard it and such. So, for example, say, here we have it. Take one uh, human from Earth and gain two energy. Okay, I'm going to take this one in here from Earth to my ship and then I'm going to gain two energy. And I'm done, then the next player's turn. The other thing I can do is play a project from your prep module. Cool, let's say. Um, as you can see, I have two cards here, so this is orange, this is green, so if I play them, I have to play them in the same color spaces on Mars. Let's say I want to play this card. It tells me, take one from Earth if you have um, this um, orange card in your hand. Let's say I had it. Let's say I had a card from in my hand, this orange card, so it would be beneficial for me to play it, take one human from Earth. So whenever I play it, I have to play it to the same color section, like that. Now, the thing is, I will first look at the number on the top. So this is number 7, the number here right now is 3, so my number is bigger, which means I can also put one human from my ship onto Mars on the left section right there. So I already shipped one a habitant right there. Then I will do the action on the bottom right here on the card and then I can also do the action which is written on this um, uh, Mars location itself. So for example gain one energy it says here for example here it take one uh, human from Earth you can move one human from the left section to the right section and the left and right section of these uh, they are different because here you score two points for each habitant you have and here you can score four points for each habitant you have. And, but there is a limit if you play with two or three players there is only a certain amount of people that can be in this section and so on. For example here uh, put one card from your hand or prep module onto the bottom of the deck. So basically if you don't want one of, one of the cards then you can put it away and such. So this is how it's done. The other thing, now with the same, let's say the other player's turn is right here. He wants to play from the prep module as well, so it's the only way to play cards here is to play them from the prep module. He has a 3. If he put it, puts it right here, so the last number was 7, he puts 3, so he cannot put his habitant onto this Mars location, but he still gets to take the prep module's action and the location's action but not just a human on, on that card right there. Now, the other thing you can do, the third thing, 
bigger thing, player projects from any other player's prep module. So let's say it was my turn and I wanted to play mm, the other, I looked at my cards and they are not really good, but I really want to go to this green place. I see the yellow player has it. Okay, I'm going to play it. I don't know what it is. So each back of the card has a zero here. So I don't know what it is. So I'm just going to grab it and play it. So I will never get any benefits uh, regarding the number, but I will just activate the special ability on the Mars location. And the owner of the cards will trigger the bottom action of that card. So the only benefit I want to get from there is that I will get to use the special ability of location by placing uh, the other player's card uh, right there. Also, I can mess up with him. Maybe he could have put there, like, let's say it would be a higher number. He wanted to do it on the, his turn, so I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to mess up with his strategy because only thing the owner can do with this card if I play it is that he can activate the prep module's ability. So, and he will not get anyone to the uh, Mars location. So the fourth is just to take one habitant uh, from Earth to the ship. And the fifth one is just to discard one card and gain one energy. So you can get extra energy, cheap energy. Uh, so you can use it on various actions and you will go through that and each turn you will start with four cards So if you have less than four you will pick up extra if you had uh, Let's say you had like that so you can now choose what cards you will put in a prep module and then you Basically you wait until your next turn comes and you play like that. So that's how pocket Mars is played Now I also wanted to show you how the scoring works of course, so you will get one point for each um, human on a spaceship, you will get points based on how I already told you. Here, for example, you get two points for each habitant right here and four points for each habitant right here. You will also get extra points if you are in all the four buildings. So there are the fifth building, the black building. You cannot put any cubes right here, as you can see. But this is very powerful ability, so move one of from your ship to a building of your choice. So you can basically move one of your humans onto Mars. So really cool. And you also get extra points if you have um, at least four humans on one location. So, and then you will count the points. Whoever has the most points will be the winner of the game. There's not much to say about the components. Uh, it's cards, few cubes, and that's it. Uh, well, we have a product evolution, so that's the reason. Yeah, but I mean, reason. but I mean, like uh, it's probably the the components inside are probably the final version. Maybe most likely. Uh, so um, regarding the arts, I do like this blueprint thing on the cards. This yeah. looks really cool. No, it needs style. Yeah, but all the other artwork is yeah, it's, it's okay. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Totally Nothing fine. to tell. The game itself, uh, as you can see, it's Pocket Mars. So. It's a uh, it's small package, it's um, good for travel as well, although on the, on the table it takes more space. Um, it's fast, it's intuitive, you don't really look in the rules what to do with it. Everything is written on the cards, you have those five actions, or the five actions you choose only one, and they are rather intuitive themselves as well. So, and it plays fast with different kinds of players, so I don't have any kind of bad thing to say about how it's how it plays overly I mean yeah so and the other thing is that still it's it's not a filler game for me it feels like a full experience full experience card game so that's it it doesn't feel it totally feel like filler for me so it's way too far from full game experience hmm yeah if for you it feels like an yeah. like filler game yeah totally okay. yeah so it depends on the player uh, and time is 15 to 30 minutes so I think yeah, that, that's true, it's yeah. It's meant like filler, mm -hmm. I think. So, Probably. yeah, I like I, I want to say that it's a filler game, but I don't feel it that way. Just me. So, uh, what this game has else uh, on the main, basic main key mechanic or, or key thing in this game are multi-use cards. And I do like that in many games, where we have this upper and bottom action, it's for the... Uh, hand or the prep module 
Um, from there on, you also have this kind of um, decision making whether you uh, put the card in the prep module or the card stays in the hands. So will you need it right now or maybe you'll need it later? And what should you play for now? Should you play it from the hand or should you play from the prep module or another player? So there is that choice uh, due to this multi-use of cards. Yeah, and especially if you pretty much never can take a card from prep module back to hand, yeah. you might have to be careful what you mm -hmm. choose because a couple of times I got stuck with the cards I didn't need any like any value in the prep module while well, mm -hmm. I made a mistake and left a good hands in, ha in, in hand. Yeah. So there's one any mini tiny annoying thing about the prep module is that you constantly double check what you have there. Yes. Because for some reason it's super easy to forget which action because you have like each card has two actions, mm -hmm. you have four mm -hmm. cards, so overall it's like eight different actions and you keep forgetting them. Mm -hmm. Or the card number. And yeah, constantly yeah. double checking was Pretty yeah, basically it's uh, three things of information on each card. Cards go and they, they come to your hand, they come to prep module, they go from there all the time. It's changing, so it's, it is annoying in my opinion as well. So, yeah. Although there was one really surprising and uh, neat thing is that you can actually play cards from another player's prep module. Mm -hmm. That's quite unique, at least it felt that way mm -hmm. and it felt... Um, it was like so unexpected that you constantly forgot about it, but it yeah. was actually quite useful. It often is. Often useful, and I really like that part. Mm -hmm. We really didn't really use like it much though. Yes, because, well, I personally kept forgetting about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought about it, yeah, but like I keep forgetting because I look at my cards, oh, what can I do with my cards? Yeah. That's the thing, yeah, there. Um, what I feel about playing from another player's uh, prep module is it's kind of a, if you can say, the peaceful take that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's sort of take that, because you are taking, taking away a card the other player has prepared. Probably he had uh, big plans with this card, I mean like, <laughs> big plans, but I mean like, probably he had plans with this card. Now you're taking it away, he can still use the bottom action, but that's all he can use. The main thing is for you is to get your inhabitants, your humans, uh, to Mars. And you're taking away that opportunity from another player by taking the hand from him. Uh, I'd sorry, say right. in few cases it felt like take that, but I don't understand mm -hmm. what you mean. But either way, yeah. it was Peaceful neat. take that. It's really neat. Yeah. So, Peaceful conflict? Mm -hmm. No, 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 it was not conflict. Peaceful conflict. <laughs> Sounds cool. Anyway, uh, this game plays uh, really well with uh, two players, four players, basically all the player counts. Yep. So you can play it with any player count. Maybe more players will be more of that. Um, cards on the board and more of that uh, competition on Mars with the tokens whether you can go to uh, to the right side to get more points so that that can be the one thing that's better with more players but the feel is almost yeah, the same. Overly it skills well in all player counts not a big difference. Yeah so it skills well. Now what's your overall opinion on this game? Um, I don't really have any emotions unfortunately. So awesome. it's definitely not a bad game. It's a neat filler, but it just did not create any emotions, like mm -hmm. any at all. So I nearly didn't care what I was doing in the game. Mm, I see. Yeah, I'm... But uh, I'm yeah. overly not a small card game person. Yeah. You have to f remember that. Yeah, I am a uh, card game person. Not usually, sm like, I mean, not only small cards, uh, sorry, card games, but I mean like overly, I'm a card game person. I do like all sorts of card games, especially where you have this multi-use, you have some collection, you have decisions, like you get these cards into your hand. What can you do with them? That's your situation. Create a good opportunity for yourself. So it's right here in this box. I do like that uh, card game right here. I do like uh, Pocket Mars. Uh, it's not the, uh, one of the best games of all time, but it's a solid one for, for a, fast and intuitive card game for with multi-use for a filler yes. okay okay yeah. it's no it's, it is a it's, yeah. it's a quite a good filler Not yeah good so filler so filler which gives me the full experience that's a good sign yeah so i do i do like multi-use cards as i told you already so i give you the thumbs up myself all right okay thanks for watching we'll see you another time bye bye